There's some repainting going on, some changes here at the Clay County Government Building in Liberty, but there are proposed changes to the form of county government. It comes after years of investigations by KBC 9 News on the county's problems. A lot coming after Gino and Luann Ridgeway. Two commissioners have often locked horns with presiding commissioner Jerry Nolte. Ridgeway and Owen are flanked by assistant county administrators who've stonewalled requests for information by KBC and served as the targets of lawsuits and a state audit. We've had a circus in Clay County and an unhealthy economic environment. And the real drag on the community continues to be the county and all the drama that goes along with it in the last several decades. It's that culture of infighting members of the bipartisan Clay County Constitution Committee want to change with more commissioners, proposing to expand to seven versus the three commissioner structure. They'd be nonpartisan and a county administrator would appoint several county office holders like treasurer and recorder of deeds taking the pick away from voters. But not everybody is sold. Personally, I don't like the idea of having more unelected bureaucrats. Uh, those are the ones who are causing problems for us right now. The chief and petitioner the of the Clay County court. State Audit says taking away power from voters to elect office holders, like the clerk and treasurer, for instance, would not serve first. citizens well. And the treasurer, the clerk, they provide an independent check on the county commission. But those in support say more commissioners gives more control over who's in charge. Information. So with the hiring process, your commissioner can have a say in that, and you can talk to your commissioner who is your policymaker. The vote will most likely be close on changes that could go into effect over the next couple of years. Matt Fleener, KBC 9 News.